Hey everyone, welcome back to Static Cardiology here on EMTV. I'll be giving you an ECG rhythm and a scenario. On the bottom of the screen, you'll see a timer for 1 minute and 30 seconds. This time closely resembles the average amount of time you should be spending on each card during an actual National Registry exam. When the time is finished, I'll be giving you the answer to the ECG rhythm as well as a treatment. Good luck. Three, two, one. This card has definitely been known to throw off my students. So let's take a look at the rhythm first and see if we can make an identification. One of the first things that should jump out at you is the speed. Uh, this is going about 40 beats per minute. The next thing that you may have noticed right off the bat is the fact that you have this gap here. Now if you look a little bit before that gap, you're going to notice a lone P wave. Having a dropped QRS complex with the presence of a P wave that precedes it is indicative of a heart block. And usually this is a characteristic of one of two kinds, either a type, a secondary type one or a secondary type two. The difference between our secondary type one and secondary type two, however, is the PR interval. In your secondary type twos, your PR interval stays consistent, and then you have a drop off in that QRS complex. Your secondary type ones, your Mobitz one, otherwise known as also a wanky bach, has a PR interval that gets longer before it drops off. So my diagnosis here for static cardiology would be a Mobitz 1 or a secondary type 1 or a Wanky Bach. Now let's take a look at the actual scenario and determine whether or not this is a stable or unstable patient. Now if you're anything like, like me, many of you may have found this card pretty relevant. I remember as a volunteer, I would often get interrupted at breakfast by a call. So let's take a look here and, uh, and see what we got. So we know that this is a, uh, you're eating breakfast at the station, minding your own business, when all of a sudden a frantic gentleman starts knocking at the door. He was taking his ill wife to the hospital when she became unresponsive and is no longer breathing. When you get out to the car, you find that she's unresponsive, apneic, and feels cool and diaphoretic to the touch. You pull her from the vehicle, but you're able to pal palpate a faint carotid pulse. Once you get your equipment, you obtain some vital signs Blood pressure is 88 over 42, SPO2 is 85, and a blood sugar is 96. So is this patient stable or unstable? Now for instability, I use the acronym CHAD. And this of course stands for cardiac insufficiency, hypotension, alteration of mental status, and dyspnea. Based on the CHAD criteria, as well as the patients presenting signs and symptoms and vital signs, they are hypotensive, they are altered, um, they are apneic, they pretty much meet them all. So this patient I would determine is unstable. So for static cardiology, my final rhythm diagnosis would be an unstable second degree type one heart block. Let's move on now to treatment. Mm -hmm. 
just like with all other static cardiology cards, treatment here is going to start with a mantra, scene safe, BSI, IV O2 monitor. Because this patient is apneic, we'll then ventilate them with a BVM. They are bradycardic, so technically we're going to consider administering atropine, one milligram IV push. However, so the old saying goes, unstable gets the cables. We're going to attach our pads, turn on the pacer function on our monitor, and then we'll set the rate. You can set the rate here anywhere between 60 and 100 BPM. Once you've done that, you'll increase the current until you achieve electrical capture. And then once you've got electrical capture, you'll check a carotid pulse to assure mechanical capture. At this point, you could say rapid transport. And as an evaluator, I would give you full points for this card. But you could also say something like, I'm going to consider a vasopressor in order to also increase rate and blood pressure. And then for the final cherry on top, I'm going to contact dispatch to let them know that I am in taking care of a patient currently so that they don't dispatch you out on a different call. All right, and that's it. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for other static cardiology videos. And definitely make your own playlists using my cards so you can create your own custom decks to study with for your actual National Registry exam. Until I see you next, have a good rest of your night.